And welcome to another Fold It Lab report. I'm BKEP here at the Institute for Protein Design. Before we dive into this video, I want to encourage you to stay tuned to the end where we have an important announcement. But first, cash is back. Last fall, Fold It participated in our first round of the cash competition, which as a reminder is a contest to see who can come up with the best drug candidates for a specific drug target. The Fold It team submitted about 100 small molecules, all targeting the SARS-CoV-2 helicase enzyme. These were brand new drug candidates that Foldit players designed all on their own. The cash organizers have begun screening those compounds in the lab to see if any of them have activity against the target. And we cannot wait for the results. In the meantime, the next round of cash has already begun. This time, we'll be designing small molecule compounds for a different target of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the NSP3 macrodomain. Remember, SARS-CoV-2 is the virus that causes COVID-19. Now, here's why the NSP3 target is important. Normally, when you get infected, your body creates specific chemical signals that act as warning signs for your immune system. You can think of these as little warning posters that read, danger, there's a virus in here. The NSP3 macrodomain, which is part of the virus, runs around your body tearing these warning posters down. So when NSP3 is working, your body becomes more vulnerable to a worse and worse infection. So we'd like to create drugs that can shut down the NSP3 macrodomain. Now, there are a lot of folded objectives for these small molecule design puzzles, but that's because there are a lot of requirements for a small molecule to become a successful drug. If the drug is taken orally as a pill, then the compound needs to resist getting digested by the harsh acids in the stomach. The drug needs to be water soluble but also able to pass through the stomach lining and cell membrane to reach the NSP3 target. For this, you'll need to monitor the TPSA and C log P objectives to balance the hydrophobicity of your compounds. You'll also wanna make sure your compounds aren't too big. Then, to shut down the target, the drug needs to bind tightly to the binding site of NSP3. We can ensure tight binding by making lots of hydrophobic contacts, satisfying buried polar atoms, and reducing the number of rotatable bonds in our compound. And finally, the drug needs to be otherwise inert. We don't want it causing any unwanted side effects by binding to off-target proteins in the body. The cash organizers will only test compounds that they can readily obtain, so you'll want to focus on molecules that have matches in the compound library. We can't wait to see what you come up with. And that brings us to this month's design of the month. This month we have a binder for the monkeypox H3 protein. As a reminder, we don't have a solved structure of the H3 protein, so instead we're using a prediction generated by AlphaFold. Now, we can see the target down here in gray and a design binder up on top. Uh, this is a three helix bundle. Um, it looks very nice, like all three helix bundles. It has a nice packed core with lots of hydrophobic orange side chains in the center and lots of blue polar side chains on the outside, which should help this protein fold up correctly and remain soluble. Uh, at the binding site where it makes contacts with the target, we see lots of hydrophobic contacts between orange side chains. And that's good, that means tight binding. All of these orange side chains do not like water, so they will want to bind each other and hide each other from water. Um, the biggest strength of this design is that it rocks all of the objectives with a strong DDG of negative 45 kilocals per mole, an extremely high contact surface area of 500. We have only four buried unsatisfied polar atoms all down here on the target. Um, some of these I'm not too worried about, which can probably be satisfied with water. Um, others may not be too much of a problem, but that's the one thing that I think we might want to be careful about, is too many buried unsatisfied polar atoms that need to make hydrogen bonds. Um, and we know that this protein also has a extremely high um, similarity 
and confidence from its alpha-fold prediction. So alpha-fold predicts that this protein will fold up as loci Euling has designed it. This looks like an excellent binder to me. I would love to see more binders like this for the monkeypox H3 target. As always, a reminder to share your favorite designs with scientists, regardless of how they rank on the leaderboards. We always love to see which designs you think are the most exciting. And finally, I have some more somber news. This will be our last lab report video. After 42 episodes, we're calling it a wrap. I will also be stepping away from Fold It. It is a sad time to leave because the game is more capable than ever, and we have lots of exciting things still to come. Rest assured, the Foldit team is as active as ever, but you will probably see fewer protein design puzzles in the coming months. It's been wonderful for me to work on such an incredible project, and I look forward to seeing what all of you achieve in the future. So as always, thanks for watching, and thanks for playing.